Hi YouTubers! I'm back with about, I guess, my seventh or eighth video now that I'm new into this community. I sure do enjoy making the videos and thank you so much for all of the views. Um, today I'd like to talk about a couple of different ideas for decorating an unusual space in a house. I have this, what I like to call the alcove, right by my front door. It's not really a room, but it's uh, too much space to not do anything with. So um, I just wanted to share some ways that I was able to decorate that on a budget. When I think of my style with decorating, it's anything, oh gosh. <laughs> Hello Frisco. He's our new kitty cat, rescued all the way from Dallas, Texas. So anyway, um, I like to think about what I can do in a space for as little money as possible. And I'm a big fan of the shows they used to have on HGTV, which I wish they would bring back, such as uh, Decorating Sense, Design on a Dime, and I think they actually still have that one, but it's so hard to catch it on. And if it is on, I think it might still just be repeats or something. And they also had another um, line of shows. There were two of them, and one of them was called Double Take, I believe. And that's where you would um, have this team of designers, and they would um, look at a lavishly decorated room from magazines such as Architectural Digest, and they would recreate that same exact look for thousands less. I'm talking sometimes the uh, expensive rooms would be upwards of $40,000, and they would do it for a budget of, I, th I think it was usually around $2,000 or, or something like that. But anyway, it was a lot less <laughs> on, on more of, of my budget. For quite some time, all I had was my mom's old sewing machine, which was uh, built into a um, what looked to be a small table, and that's basically all I had there for several years until I was able to really do something with it. And uh, what I decided to do was buy some chairs. I got them from Target, and I also got an ottoman from Target. They were both from two different lines, but um, again, I don't like to be too matchy-matchy, so to me it worked well. I'll show you a picture. So it was very monochromatic. I, I saw something in a Southern Living magazine that was similar to this setup where you had the two uh, solid color chairs and um, the curtains kind of matched that. Everything was just in that same color family and pillows and decor and, and so forth. And so uh, that's kind of what I went with. The rugs at the bottom, it was actually not just one rug, it was actually two rugs because I could not find the right size. So I just did a quick little decorating trick of having two identical rugs laid side by side. I wanted to, to make it look different, I wanted to rearrange the furniture, and I also wanted to add a pop of color. Um, I just got tired of that monochromatic look. So, um, I was at... Uh, Pier 1 Import one day. We were um, doing some different things in our dining room and I was getting some placemats and I came across these placemats and I really like that. I like when you have two coordinating designs that have the same color uh, theme in them and I thought you know what they were on sale and wouldn't they look awesome up against the backs of those um, those two chairs. So I went ahead and bought a couple of extra with that purpose in mind. And I also found these wonderful pillows at Pier 1. I mean, these just scream texture. I mean, look at how cool they are. And uh, the fringe. Of course, um, my cats have since <laughs> decided to play with that a little bit. But anyway, they are just terrific pillows. And um, they were not on sale. However, one of them got tagged with a 30% off uh, tag by accident. <laughs> Happy accident for me because they had to honor that and they honored it on both pillows. So I got them uh, at a nice discount because their pillows at Pier 1 are usually pretty expensive. So um, that's what I did. I also ended up going to my favorite place, Ikea, and I got a lack table, which I think was maybe $7.99, and it took all of a minute to put together, if that long. And um, I also found, which I don't have with me, but I found a solid red uh, placemat that had some, some texture woven into it, but it was all solid red, a dark red, and I used that to drape over that lack table as kind of like a table runner, um, but a small scale. 
So that's what I did, and I found a few little knickknacks to decorate with, and here's the finished look. So here's the way everything looks now. It's going to be a little bit bright, uh, only because of our front door area. I've got these side windows as well as a transom window over the top, and so it, it brings in a lot of light. So as you can see, I've got this piece from Pure One that I got several years ago that I really like a lot. And over on this side, I've got another piece from Pure One. I've got the two Target chairs and the Target ottoman. They're not from the same line at Target, but I don't like things to be matchy-matchy. And here's the LAC table that I got from Ikea. And as you'll notice, I've got the placemat over the back of the chair. It's just resting over the back. And the pillows in front of it, they really coordinate very nicely together. Here's that solid placemat. And over here is my mom's sewing machine from Singer. And this must be about 51 years old. <laughs> and the sewing machine is actually hiding up underneath this cabinet. It, the top part folds over and you bring the sewing machine up and you get busy with what you're doing, which for me is not very much. I wish I had learned that skill and, and never did. And finally, these are the cafe curtains that I got at a JCPenney outlet. As you can tell, there's a transom window above these windows as well. And so I had to have something pretty long. And at the time, I was not wanting to sew anything, uh, even a simple valance. I just wasn't wanting to do that at the time. And so um, I just happened to be at JCPenney outlet one day. I saw these uh, monotone or... or you know, same color family kind of striped curtains, cafe curtains, and of course those do tend to be longer. And they worked well as repurposed valances in this space. And I believe the total cost of that plus the rods was about 15 to $18. So it was a really good find for me, and I think it works well in this room. <laughs> Hi, I've got the peanut gallery with me now helping. But peanut? I hope you would... <laughs> I'll explain later. I feel like Jan all of a sudden. I'm in the middle. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, it's how you do it like a boss. Like a boss. I'm going to do something like a boss. <laughs> no, you can't say it. Like, you have to go, I'm going to do something like a boss. Like a boss. No, you can't smile okay, stop, when you stop, say stop, stop. it. Three, two, one. So there you have it. That's what I was able to do with that very unusual space in the front of my house. I liked what I had at first, that monochromatic look, but I really like what I've done now, as well as repositioning some of the furniture in there. And I have to say, I'm spending a whole lot more time there now. And usually, my favorite time to be there is in the morning after the kids go off to work. And, uh, and before I go to work, it's just wonderful. <laughs> So, uh, thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.